In every life in online, we see here a lot of websites to hack Facebook account by a pin code or other mobile numbers, blah blah blah, a lot. But according to me, these all are fake. Because hacking a Facebook account is not an easy task. And the hackers have to give a hard time there to hack a Facebook account. Whenever you just enter into your Facebook account the time, email ID or phone number and password and click to log in. But if your email or password is wrong, then you can't get the access and you might have to give the right email or password to access. Now, how is it possible to check your provided password is right or wrong? In the back end of the Facebook, there have a database and in this database, there your email and password are being saved. And from there, they just match the password. Now, how they save it? Let's talk about that. Whenever you are going to open a Facebook account, the time you are given there, your first name and the last name, email ID or phone number there, password, gender, age, everything which they want. And when you click on the sign up, the time, all the information you provided here are saved in the backend database, which I say you earlier. Here all the data will save as it is the name, the email, the gender and the age. But the password? It is not saved here as it is. Earlier which password we use to open an account that is in the plain text and we all give password in the plain text format. But Facebook never saved it as a plain text. They make it in the hashed format by converting it from plain text to the hashed format text. Now the hacker just able to manage the Facebook database data of account holder. Now they get all the information. Now, if they give here the email and the password here as it is and go to login, the time it never works because the password is encrypted and here you need there the exact plain text which you provide here. Now it's time for the hackers. What they do to get the plain text? You think that they convert the password from hash text to the plain text. But it's not possible to convert the hash text to the plain text because it's a one way method. Now, what they do? Now they have an idea to get the plain text of the hashtag password. If the password is so easy and used by a lot of people like Sajid1234, Sajid test, test1234, password, this type of password. Here, have a website called crackstation.net. It is a website of all used and easy passwords there. And you will get here all the passwords, plain text and the hash text format. Here if you search hashed password and if it is matched there and it contains there, then congratulations hacker, get your password. But if you use here strong password in your Facebook with a lot of combination, the time is quite impossible because it's unique and the crack station don't contain it. Now what the hackers do to hack the password? Here now they use dictionary attack to hack the password from the Facebook. In the dictionary attack, here hackers manage a dictionary where all the password and regular used password are contained. And it's called the word list. And it's a dictionary of all the contained password. Now they just search the password by giving the code and they compare the password, hash password and then just get it. Now let's talk about the brute force attack. In the brute force attack, here use algorithms that combines alphanumeric characters and symbols to come up with the password for the attack. For example, a password of the value is Sajid1234 or Test1234 can also be treated as Sajid1234 here like that and using it as a brute force attack. Here the hackers have given hard time if the password is so long. But if the password is so short, the time the hackers need a little bit time. Now let's talk about the rainbow table method there. In the rainbow table method, here uses pre-computed hashes. Let's assume that we have a database which stores passwords as MD5 hashes. We can create another database that has MD5 hashes of commonly used passwords. We can then compare the password hashes we have against the stored hashes in the database. If that match, the time congratulations the hacker. You get the password. Now let's talk about the guessing